Hello and welcome back to Big Van Small World. Now for those of you that are new here, my name's Mel and I'm currently turning this Mercedes Vario into a luxurious overlander. And when I'm finished, I will be off on my treasure hunting adventures. So if that's something that interests you, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Now today I'm going to be installing security cameras all the way around the top of my Vario. And whilst I'm doing that, the lovely Rebecca is going to be fitting some luxurious auto carpet to the rear. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So Becky's busy doing the auto carpet, she's straight on it, not wasting any time. Whilst Becky does the auto carpet in, I'm going to carry on trying to figure out where all the wires are going to run for my solar panels. And also while I'm up there figuring out where the wires and cables are going to run for the solar system, solar system? Solar system! <laughs> I'm also going to try and figure out where the wires are going to run for my reversing camera. And my reversing camera I'm putting in the Vario is this Halo View reversing camera. The reason I chose this one is because my Vario is 24 volts. And this is the only reversing camera that I could find with a 24 volt system that can handle 24 volts. And the great thing about this is, it is wireless as well. So all I've got to do is run power to four cameras. There's no cables to run for the actual cameras themselves, just the power cable. And I'm pretty sure if I can try and loop those all together and I can have one power cable going down in through the same flange as the solar panel cables. That's what I'm hoping anyway. But take a look at these cameras, they are proper quality. And I've got a halo view reversing camera in my Sprinter, and I know they are really good quality. Take a look at that. Yeah, we like them. Yeah, it does work really well. Um, and because it's wireless, the other reason as well, there's more to it. Uh, the screen itself, the monitor, I can have it in the front of the van when I'm driving, and it works as a reversing camera. But it's also um, works as a dash cam as well because it's got a forward facing camera and it's also got these side cameras. So in the unlikely event of an accident, I'll be covered front, back and sides. So we've got these side cameras as well, but obviously there's two of these. We've got a camera at the front, a camera at the back. So it's pretty much a reversing camera, dash cam, security cam surveillance all in one and the reason i say surveillance is because the monitor we can actually take it from the front of the van and take it into the back at night so if we do hear anything untoward going on outside we can quickly switch it on and take a look at the monitor and have a look and see what's going on around us um which would be really lovely which, to have yeah that. which means we don't have to open the door or open the windows we can actually just lay there and have a look see what's going on basically be no nosy um, Becky's done a mistake from that. Shit, shit, shit. You put it on back front. It doesn't matter because that you just swap sides. I know it won't work. No, it won't. The windows are different. Yeah, you have to peel it off. Yeah. Do it again. <laughs> Wasn't concentrating, was you? I was. I even marked it, but I didn't put it down on the right way. Oh. Time. This can be rectified. Oh, let me help you. No foul, no foul. Give that a stick to it. Oh, you got it off? Yeah. Oh, that's lucky. Oh, you got like, got away with that. I just got it off in time. Oh, you put it on back the front, though. No, I haven't. No, you haven't. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to leave Becky alone. Obviously, I'm putting her off. I'm going to try and figure out where these cameras are going to go. I glued the wrong bit. I glued the bit that didn't say this side up. I even marked it saying this side. All oh, right. Glue. Okay. Good job we've got two cans of glue. I'll go, and get, I'll go and get some more. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get back to you when I've figured out where all this lot's going to go and I'll try and go through this and show you in more detail how this Halo View system is going to work. I just need to figure it out myself first. I'll be right back. Done one, she's done one. Oh, no, I nearly fell out of it. So excited. So have a look. Does it go nice? So it clears that. Oh, yeah, that's very nice. Curves nice around there so we can just yeah, adjust it. Yeah, you tuck that in. And yeah. that's all tucked. Nice. Look at that. That's worked perfectly. That's so just board, how I thought it would go. Yeah, the board finishes yeah. there and then you just tuck the rest of the carpet so it stops it and gives it a nice seal. Yeah. Or yeah. we could just take this off and put, it put that in and then that will go over the top of no, yeah. if you know what I mean, so it's not strained around. Well, it's yeah. not strained either, but it's oh, just... Right. 
Oh, well, you I've pushed just, it in. I've yeah. just pushed it in to see how, how much of a play you can oh, have yeah. with it. See? Look at how you oh, oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah. So it's, it's really oh, well, nice. Oh, magic already. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice because this bit there'll be there'll be timber up up against this coming down. I want that here. And timber are coming across there as oh, well. Okay. So you won't see none of this. Okay. So yeah, I just got to do another one of them now. That's really nice, wife. That does look really nice, doesn't it? Yeah. It goes well as well with these. But... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does look a bit granny, doesn't it? I hate them blinds. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> Won't be looking at them. It's like an old ladies kind of eighties, yeah. like full mica kitchen from the fifties. I don't know why they just can't be black. Like why whoever designed them? I think it's been... nice. I like it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. So if I say in the middle of the night, oh, can you stroke my teddy bear? Yeah, stroke your teddy bear. It does look like teddy bear material, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Mm. It's nicer than carpet. See how well it lasts, how hard wearing it is. Yeah. It's going to look lush. <laughs> well done. I love it. Okay, I'll just go do that. Do one more, then we'll have lunch, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, I've not stopped all day yet. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was cutting off the cow horns. I'll just show you what I decided to do. So I've decided, I didn't film this, I should have done really. But um, I just wanted to get it done, so I've cut one of the horns off. There you go. You can see the difference up there. One's gone. I'm going to cut that one off when Becky's finished. And then I'm putting a nice bit of aluminium angle right across the front of that. Paint it black and I think that'll finish it off really nice. And once I've done that, I've got somewhere to mount my front facing camera and also maybe a couple of fog lights or three or four. <laughs> Hopefully four. Yeah. I won't cut that one off just yet because it, it, there'll be sparks flying everywhere and Becky's obviously still doing the auto carpeting. So we'll wait until Becky's finished before I do any more. I'll just cut it and then I can... Yeah, it's fine. No rush. Well, that was a real close call. I was cutting off the other bit of beauty strut off the end. I was cutting off the other horn, as it were. And uh, yeah, the angle grinder went through it surprisingly easy. So needless to say, it caught me out. And this piece of uni strut come flying off the roof, come down here, hit the wing. You can see I've kind of caused a little bit of a dent there. And it proceeded to bounce off the wing doing a triple somersault, ending with a pike, and smacking straight into young Sean's bumper, luckily. He only hit his bumper and nowhere else, and there was no damage done. But it could have been a lot worse. Imagine if that had damaged my windscreen. I would be absolutely mortified, because at the moment, put that down there, touch wood, this windscreen is completely chip free. There's no chips in this windscreen, nothing. It's absolutely perfect. And as soon as that piece of uni struck broke free from up there, my immediate thought was, oh no, not the windscreen. But I really was lucky and I got away with it. So yeah, I just turned. Um, it's a shame it wasn't on camera. <laughs> Did you catch it on camera? Uh, yeah, I've kind of damaged the Vario. There you go, it's first dent. It's only a little bit, but um, yeah. Very lucky indeed. Right, so now I've cut the horns off, I need to cap them. I'm going to put this piece of aluminium angle across the front. Um, I think I'll just lay it up there so you can see what it's going to look like. And also I can mark it and make sure I get it the right length. We don't any more cock-ups today. And whilst all these shenanigans have been going on, Becky's actually finished doing the rest of the auto carpet. Have you done it? Yeah. I can hear lots of people going, oh, that's really nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's nice. Doesn't that look lovely? It's definitely the plushest carpet I've ever yeah, created. Yeah, I like that. Lovely, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, that Very looks nice. really nice. That is nice. Yeah, it's nice. Nice. So we put the battens down here now. We can finish off yeah. doing the, this malarkey. And again, I've cut it so that it pinched round yeah. the window. Nice. 
per your suggestion and it's fitted lovely. It really does pay to not fit the, the edges tight. So yeah. you've got a little Just bit left, of bunch. Left them a bit loose. Yeah. And then you can tuck it into gaps, which is perfect. Yeah, I like that. Well done, good job. Yeah. A job well done, my dear. Thank you. Right, so I've had a little look in the box. I've had a bit of a play and I've got to say, I'm really impressed. This is the monitor, so much better than my last one. I've actually got a halo, halo view monitor in my Sprinter and this is completely different. This is all touch screen. The picture quality on this is outstanding. I've plugged it into my portable power pack and had a little quick look. And the beauty of this, like I say, it is USB C powered, so I can take it from the front of the van and take it into the back of the van and use it as a monitor when I'm in the back of the van as well as a reversing camera when I'm driving. So this is the, the front camera, it's exactly the same as the rear one. Look at the quality of this, it's on a ratchet, so it's easy to adjust. You haven't got to get an Allen key and undo it on the side like you do the old ones. You can simply just, yeah. It's got this really nice hood. This is gonna go on my front face here panel that I've just made. So that's gonna be screwed on there after I've painted all this black. So, uh, yeah, nice little waterproof pad as well to ensure that no water gets through. So if you was to screw this into the panel of your van, you've got this nice waterproof pad to stop any water leaking into your van. I really do like the quality of this. You can just tell it's quality. The great thing is, well, the great thing is, this is the wire that plugs into the back of the camera. Look how easy this is to wire up. We've got a red for positive, a black for negative, and this green wire is the trigger wire. So if I was gonna use one of these cameras in conjunction, when I indicate, then this is the wire that needs to put power to this wire, and then that camera whatever that camera's looking at will be displayed on the screen. But we're not going to use this one for the front camera. I'm just going to select it manually as and when I need to. So you are. Right, let's get this camera fitted to this facial panel. Then I can paint this black. And whilst that paint's drying, I can start fitting the side cameras. <laughs> so simple to do, really easy. There's no thick, chunky cables you've got to run to the monitor. That's what I like about this wireless system. Fantastic. Right, find some drill bits. I think the easiest thing to do is take the rubber plate off and use that as a template. Just simply whack that on there like that. Yeah, it could be easier, honestly. I was dreading fitting cameras to this van, but um, thanks to this really simple system, it is really going to be simple. <laughs> Is it too many simples? How many simples can you get in a sentence? Right, let's make sure I get this nice and straight. on the other side. There you go, that's going to fit in there lovely like that. So now that I've got all the holes drilled, I've got the holes drilled in the top where this is going to actually mount on top of that roof rack that I've made. I'm going to go ahead and paint this black before I actually fit all this to it. Let's put this away. Don't want that getting covered in black paint or damaged. Now the first thing I need to do before I paint this aluminium is get rid of all the oil or grease, silicon, whatever's on there. Let's do that. I use this degreaser or commonly known as panel wipe. This removes any um, contaminants from the metal. So it's all nice and clean, making sure our paint sticks to it. 
off all this is aluminium and the aluminium is notorious for um, paint not sticking to it. It's going to be up out of the way so it shouldn't be too bad. ends as well because we want paint to stick to the ends. Right. Sounds like I'm on a boat, doesn't it? Some old ship with a Beams creaking in the barn. Sounds like I'm on a voyage. I guess we are, we're on a voyage of discovery. <laughs> See how this works. Should be alright. A bit of reaction there. Yeah. I'm going to put this on really light so that it doesn't react. At the end of the day, you're not going to see this panel very much because I'm having a camera in the middle, then I'm going to have two fog lights each side of this eventually when they turn up. I bought some spotlights off of AliExpress. I think they were like £7 something for four. Just for shits and giggles, see how good they are or bad, whichever the case may be. Tell me if you ever brought anything from AliExpress and been pleasantly surprised or mildly disappointed. The last thing I brought off AliExpress was that cooktop. Um, by the way, it's working really well. I know I should be wearing a mask, but the door's open. I'm pretty much outside. I'm in the doorway. There we go. It's done. So these are the side cameras that came with the Hello View camera kit and I think they're supposed to go like here on the side of the van like that so it gives you that view right down the side of your van so in the unlikely event you, you get side swiped by someone it actually records that accident so it's, it is essentially a dash cam plus a reversing camera so anyway they're supposed to go there like that but I don't really want to to put them there because I'm frightened someone might attack the aerial somebody might try and you know you get a drunk walk past they see an aerial they snap it off type scenario um, so I'm actually going to mount these up high on the roof but instead of mounting them like that I'm going to have them this way up and I'm going to put them <laughs> so let me just show you this up there so they will sit up here like this off of my roof rack facing down and the aerial obviously that's going to point upwards like that so they'll be mounted like this um, yeah I'm not really, really worried about the light I just want to be able to see what's going on outside and because they and because these have got the lights on them and they've got night vision I think these would be perfect for that so I'm going to go ahead take this off the LED light and then use this really nice bracket to screw this to my unistrut roof rack I'm just hoping that the image won't be all sideways because it's supposed to go like that so the lens will be on its side I don't suppose it really matters if the image is sideways I'm sure we can fix that by rotating the image I'm guessing <laughs> we'll find out now, I've just realized unlike the front and rear cameras these don't actually have a plug on you have to wire these in and you can see what they've done they've put the wires together so the, the red power wire the thinner one that goes to the camera is actually connected to the black cable and I'm guessing that this black cable is the live for the LED lights and again the white one and the neutral for the camera 
are both connected up. So um, you can either connect these up independently, like a power source going independently to these, or have them together so that when the lights are on, the camera's on. But I'm gonna, like I say, I'm gonna disconnect all this. I'm gonna take this apart, um, which means I'm gonna have to unsplice them. Oh, there is a trigger wire as well. Yeah, there's a green trigger wire in there. So these can be triggered with the indicators when you indicate left and right. Really clever. Now, before I do cut all this, this cabling off, I just wanna show you why I chose this system. There you go, you can see there it's 12 volt to 24 volts. My Vario is a 24 volt vehicle. So I was really relieved when I found this. My apologies to Hellview for taking their camera apart. You can tell it's quality, look, it won't even come apart. Oh, that's just turning and turning. Oh, it's got a nut inside it. I can see through the glass there. As I'm turning this, there's actually a, a locking nut inside there. So maybe this lens just pops off. Yeah, I think it does. Right? I think I have to pop the lens off. Ooh, careful Mel, don't break it. Yes, there we go. <laughs> yeah, look, it's got locking washers on a nut. I wonder I can't undo it. It's just going round and round. I'm going to keep all these bits in case I change my mind later on and actually decide to mount them where they should go. So that's a tiny little screw there that holds the lens on. Put that in the box so you don't lose it. No, oh, yeah, right. So that's the lens off and look at that. What a lovely bracket. That's going to be perfect for putting on top of the uni strut. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic, proper camera that as well, it's um, what is it, yeah, so this is a 1080p camera, this is HD camera, fantastic, so this will be, yeah, as good a quality as what you're watching now on my GoPro. There you go, really simple to mount. Literally one bolt, two wires, it's done. Well, I've got to do the two wires yet. But as soon as I've connected all these up, we'll have a look at that monitor and see if we can rotate that image. But that does look mean. I mean, that just says, doesn't it? It says, any, anyone sees that, it, it, it just says, bugger off, leave me alone, doesn't it? Just, it's a real deterrent, that nice big camera up there. <laughs> Fantastic. Doesn't stand out much, does it? Now luckily I can actually bring that out further when I put my awning up so that it can see over the top of the awning. Obviously when the awning's wound out I won't be able to see anything using it. But um, I could always move it from there to the front. You see how easy it was to bolt to the uni strut. I can literally, when the awning's out, I can get it from there, put it up to the front there and have it pointing in under the awning maybe, spy on my guests. <laughs> oh right, stop messing around and get it wired up. I should put in some more hours. Put your finger out, please. Yeah, pull my finger out, yeah. Why are you all sitting here having your cups of tea? I should work much harder. Go on. When I said I'm taking a piss because you fucking work hard, that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're taking a piss, mate. Right? Yeah, I'm going to put some more hours in here. So there we go, there's my front camera. I've got a side camera as well on this side. I've also got 
a side camera up on this side. So tomorrow, all I need to do is fit the rear camera, join them all up, and we'll see what this actually ends up looking like. I'll see you in the morning. Good night for now. So I've just noticed Halo View actually put these self-drilling, self-tapping screws in the kit. I wish I'd spotted those earlier. It would have saved me messing around. Right, let's have a go. If only I'd seen them sooner. That looks alright, doesn't it? So despite running out of spray paint when spraying this one, I don't think it looks too bad. And because it's so up, so high up, I don't think anyone's going to notice. But I will paint that a bit better once I put the rest of the lights up there. Because just like my Sprinter, I shall have brake lights, indicators, side lights all up there. Just like I've done on my Sprinter. If I turn the camera around, I'll show you what I mean. There you go. So I'm going to kind of replicate what I've done on the Sprinter on my Vario. Yeah, I think that'll look alright. Okay, so what's left for me to do now is actually put power to all of these cameras, which is going to be really simple, because all I've got to do is put a positive and negative to each camera, and that is it. There's no messing around with um, the actual camera cables. It's going to be really simple to do. And once I've got power to the cameras, all I've got to do is put power to the monitor and the whole thing should kick in and start working. That's the idea anyway. Wish me luck. So to wire up my um, cameras, I've simply used this twin core uh, 12 volt cable. And this one runs in a loop system. So I'll start at the front camera, right down now. So the cable starts at the front camera, goes to the side camera in the rear camera and then all the way down here and you guessed it to this side camera now the cable's going to come up here through this hole in the roof of my van and down to the power source like i said earlier this couldn't be any simpler if you tried right hopefully my little dob of red oxide primer is dried so i can now screw the gland through this hole pass the wire through like i say to its power source. I just need Becky to do this nut up on the other side. Do it up tight. It's got... Yeah? Alright, I'll, I'll tighten up with a pair of pliers later. There we go. Yeah, it's not very tight in there. So, I'm going to put some mastic around the tip of this. Just a little bit of mastic around the tip, just to make sure that that is watertight. But there you go. Just the tip, okay? Yep, just the tip. <laughs> so all I need to do now is add some power to this, and everything should, theoretically, kick into action. Let's have a little go then, shall we? We'll find a power pack. And then we'll stick some power on it. Then we'll take a look at what that screen looks like. Exciting, isn't it? Oh, I've just brought this fridge, by the way. It is a 230, no, 240? 240. It's a 240 volt fridge. It was the cheapest one I could find on eBay. It cost a staggering <coughs> £150. And it's super light. Yeah. 
No, no, you're thinking running a 240 bridge inside a camper van is pretty unrealistic because it's going to suck a lot of power. But I've come up with a cunning idea on how to convert this 240 fridge into a 12 volt DC fridge. So if you want to see that video, make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell because that video will be coming up within the next couple of weeks. I'll show you step by step how to convert a 240 AC fridge into a 12 volt DC fridge for as little as 50 pound. An equivalent 12 volt fridge this size would cost you well over a thousand pounds. But I'm gonna do this for 200 quid. Yeah? Yeah, we definitely wanna So make that. sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, save yourself a few quid just by watching a really simple detailed video. Yeah. Yeah, right, anyway, enough of that. Let's get these cameras working. Just plug that in. All right, switch it on. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Straight away, one of the side cameras is working. As you can see, it's kind of on its side. But all we've got to do is turn the money on like that, I guess. Look at that picture, look at this quality. Look at that. That is a real quality picture. I think on the cables not long enough. Look at that. Oh, it's switched to reversing camera. And it's got the lines as well. Right, let's touch the screen. Right, so I've got two cameras working. So two out of four ain't bad. I guess that's 50-50. <laughs> so what I need to do is actually get up on the ladder and there's a little button on those cameras and I need to press those, that button to get it to pair. So let's do that now. I'll be right back, because this might take me a while to figure out. So I'm not 100% sure how to do it. Boom, done it. Turned out to be really simple. You just have to literally press the button on the, um, the pairing button on the camera. Really simple. So that's the rear camera now. Channel two is the rear camera. I really wanted channel one to be the rear camera. Oh well, press that, put the parking lines on, there you go. The parking lines are now on the rear camera, <laughs> no longer on the front camera. Yeah, I wonder if I can unpair it, yeah let's try that. Right, so if I go channel one, right, and then go pairing, pairing channel one, press that, now press the button on the rear camera, it will override it. Yes, it did it! There you go! So channel one is now the rear camera. So channel two should be blank. Right, so now I've got to get on... Oh yeah. We'll climb up the ladder now to get to the front camera. I'll be right back. It's so simple to use. It's child play, it really is. Yes! There we are. Really easy. So easy. There you go. So channel two is now the front facing camera. And channel one is the rear camera. Look at that. There you go. This, so once again, I can actually hear me. It's reverberating. I hear myself talking. So there you go. If you're looking for a reversing camera with a um, the bonus of actually having four cameras to it, then go check out Halo View. It's not the cheapest on the market, but you can see how simple this is to wire up well worth the extra money just purely for the simplicity of this and also this doubles up as a dash cam because you can in fact put an sd card in here so it will continuously record as you drive so in the unlikely event that you did have an accident you're covered by all four four sides of your vehicle so if someone was to side swipe you say then the side camera would have your back 
so to speak, or your side. Like I say though, it's not the cheapest, but I think that more than makes up for it in the, in the fact that it is a really simple system to use. And it also doubles up as a security camera because you can actually leave this recording whilst you're away from your van, which I will do. These cameras are never gonna get turned off. Now I realize how good this is, I'm actually gonna wire this in permanently to my leisure batteries rather than the engine 24 volt system and have this continuously recording even when I'm away from the vehicle. So you have it. If you're looking for a really good reversing camera that also doubles up as a dash cam and a security camera as well, all in one package, I'll put a link in the description of this video purely for your convenience. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget if you're new here, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. But most importantly, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Ta-da for now.